peppered with how-to lessons uh, and guidance, like how to be the black friend, which I will give you a snippet of right here. Uh, and my theory, just quickly, I don't, I don't want to go into the full details, but the black friend is essentially a national hero that is unsung, that has prevented race wars. Uh, for example, by telling their white friends to not use the N-word. Uh, and basically stop all out war. But we don't honor them as we should. They're like the red telephone in the Cold War. They're the black telephone. <laughs> so, and yeah, I just put a Cold War reference. People be learning shit. So my tips to be an effective black friend include things like access to white people. You can't very well be a good black friend if you don't have access to non-black and especially white people. This should go without saying, but I can't tell you the number of black folks I've met who want nothing to do with white people, and yet complain nonstop about how white people do this or white people do that. Be the change you want to see. Go make some white friends. If you don't know where to start, I recommend checking out stuff white people like. It's all right there for the understanding. And a disclaimer, Christian Lander is in this book. He just wrote that. This list is not exhaustive, but it's a representative sample of the sets of tools you will need to perform your duties. If you carry these with you, you will make an excellent black friend and do your people, black, white, and otherwise, proud. Beware other black people. As I've documented in the history of the black friend, many black people do not respect this role. And many more don't even know we have blacks deployed in this fashion at all. <laughs> that can make for some awkward interactions when you're with your white friends and you come across this type of black person. Keep in mind, they mean no harm. They just don't understand the mission you're on. So remain calm, careful, and vigilant. There are ways to minimize the damage done by those potentially hostile inter-Negro interactions. Always acknowledge other black people. If you are overly focused on your black friend duties, you might miss the presence of a person. They will see you. They always see you. You stand out in your crowd and they will test you. Usually by catching your eye, then offering an upward or downward head nod. <laughs> Depending on your gender, this might stop at eye contact or progress to a polite smile. It's like in the movie Avatar when they say, I see you. <laughs> Footnote, by the way, Avatar is a truly horrible movie. <laughs> the worst white guy ever somehow manages to be the best Blue person ever. <laughs> Just like that? Come on now. If I lived in that world, I'd have to write how to be blue, because that tale is basically the same. <laughs> Would be to see the other black person, let them see you seeing them, then fail to acknowledge them. You come across as too good for your own people, and you end up making things harder for yourself by creating or furthering a feeling of distrust. And without trust, we have nothing. <laughs> You also want to keep an active eye on the behavior of your white friends when other non-black friends are around. If you're doing your job, your white friends will be extremely comfortable and loose in your presence. This is generally a good thing, but it can lead to embarrassment if your white friends are dropping a lot of black slang, rap lyrics, or worst of all, the words nigga or nigger. As a general rule, never allow your white friends to say any variation of the word nigger. But especially in the company of others. It's your job to explain to them why such statements are unacceptable. You can appeal to history. You can explain the continuing pain associated with the term. You can cite family style in group, out group privileges. Do what you must. <laughs> the good news is that they will never listen to a random black person they didn't know. When you hear white people ask, why is it okay for black people to say the N-word and not me? Those white people are missing uh -oh. a good black friend in their lives. 